shopping. Let's go. Okay, we are back. My sister and I, even though she doesn't want to be on camera, have spent the entire day at IKEA, Burlington, Home Goods, Marshalls, Walmart. So I'm gonna start off by first putting everything in my cabinets first. And she bought me a TV. Look at that TV right there. So I'm gonna start off by putting my plates and stuff in the cabinets and organizing that. Okay, let me show you guys the update on the contact paper. This contact paper is the most difficult thing in the history of contacting paper. So we bought a different brand because I think it's the brand itself. There was just so many air bubbles. You can't even see them on camera. But we're gonna we're gonna have to more update on that later on. Cheers. Cheers to the girl we can help. Cheers to two, almost two weeks of fully being in the new apartment. Guys, I've been so exhausted. Like I have not had a time. I feel like after work I come, I unpack and there's still a lot of unpacking to do. But I plan on finishing this kitchen today because the flooring, let me show you. I have to get another pack. Oh my God, heavy. I have to get another pack of the peel and stick because there are some corners that I need to figure out. Let me show you guys how this looks. This is how it looks so far. I just need to like figure this part, whoop, figure this part out. There's this part of the kitchen and then last part here. It's not straight, which is making things uh, slightly difficult, but I really just wanna finish it out today. So if you're thinking about doing peel and stick for your floors, it's actually really easy. Like some of the videos, some of the videos that I saw, the girls were like grouting and doing so many other things. I did not. I just kind of took it straight from the box and peeled it. So what you really need is the peel and stick, a box cutter, and a place to like cut it. But that's really it. it's quite simple. So I'm just gonna finish this today because I want to finish it today. And I also got the tiles for the wall for this portion of the kitchen. But like I said, I thought the kitchen was gonna be the first thing that I I finished, but. It indeed was not the first thing that I finished <laughs> at all. As much as I said this process is relatively easy, you need like three simple things. You need the peel and stick tile, a pair of box cutter, and a ruler or a measuring tape. However, the most frustrating part about this whole process was the tiny corners. And I feel like I should have laid it out like looking back on it i definitely should have laid out the tiles in the way i wanted to beforehand i thought i did because a lot of the youtubers and the videos that i watched said to start in the middle start laying them out in the middle and that's what i thought i was doing but then when it got to the corners oh my goodness the reason why this took so long to to be finished the middle portion was so easy to do but when you get to the corners Getting those measurements right and making sure that they fit in the way you want it to fit in is honestly the hardest part. And I would say a lot of frustration came into it. There were times where I would start working and then I would just have to stop because I was just like, you know what, I'm getting frustrated. And then when I found out that my kitchen wasn't a straight line, especially around the corners, and uh, especially around the corners, like the counters, it was definitely not a straight line, it was more of an angle. So cutting an angle of boss cutter was also super hard. But once you got over the frustration and once I started to see that it actually looked pretty nice, I was like, okay, you know, let me take a deep breath. Everything will be okay. And like I said, it really did turn out pretty well. It, it is the next day. I don't know, those DIY people make these things look so simple. Yesterday around like 11.30, I gave up. I was tired. My angles weren't angling. I said, you know what? This tiles are is gonna have to be for the next day. So this morning I woke up, I was like, let me finish it. So let me show you how it looks. From afar, it really doesn't look that bad. In the back, if you squint, just don't squint. <laughs> just don't look at it too much. I might like redo it. You know the crazy thing about this building is other units are like renovated. But when I was talking to like the leaser, the lease agent, he said if they got renovated, the rent obviously is gonna go up. And like there's nothing wrong with the apartment. It's just that like you know the kitchen could be a little bit modern. And I've seen the other kitchens and they're much modern. I'm pretty sure if they were to like gut renovate this place, they'll probably knock down the door, like knock down the wall between the kitchen and the little alcove and just like make it a bigger kitchen. Anyway, so I have to do my own renovation because you know rent needs to be low and this is like a one-time purchase. This is not a purchase that is gonna be consistent. So let me show you how it looks. 
So, this is how, this is how it came out. It's not too bad. Like I said, just don't look over there. Oop, just don't look over there. But overall, it's really not too bad. Um, it's coming along. It's really not too bad. I really do like the way it looks. Um, it gives it a more modern finish. So the first renovation project is done. I'm telling you, this took, it didn't take one day because the first time you gotta like trial and test it out. And the second time it's just like, okay, now I just want things to be perfect. And the third time you're just tired. But this is how it came out looking. Um, you know, I love me my pre-war building, but this is this is nice. It's a nice finish. It's also super easy to clean. I have the cedar mop and I also have a Swiffer, so it's super easy to clean. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking about getting Felix stick tiles, I would say do it. I feel like it's giving this uh, place a fresher look. But yes, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the contact paper. I'm not finishing that if my sister is not here because she was pretty good at this. Um, so we're gonna do the contact paper. I'm gonna do the walls. We're gonna do the other cabinet lighting. There's a lot to do. I didn't think it was gonna be that much to do. I already bought the items. It's just that having the time to do it is the part. And I haven't even finished unpacking. The next time. I feel like by next time, I should already have all the, like, the organizational things in the kitchen done. I've already cooked in this kitchen, so that's a plus one, but. But by next time, more should be done. But I'm proud of myself because that wasn't easy. The videos made it look easy, but that wasn't easy. But until next time, for more uh, pre-war apartment renovations, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And you didn't get a video from me last week because uh, I was so tired. But I'll see you in the next video. This kitchen is gonna be mwah. Mm -hmm. Chef kiss.